guys, so today I'm going to actually clean my schlink, so let's get started. So I'm going to start with my new horse. I haven't thought of a name for her yet, but leave them in the um, comments. Sorry for the background noise, by the way, but um, family's just messing around. So yeah, I'm just going to use regular soap, and I'm going to put it on this toothbrush I have. So yeah. So we got that, and now we got my horse, and I'm going to scrub. So she just came from a store, so I'm gonna definitely give her a good clean, just cause I don't know who's been touching her. And yeah, and how dirty she could be in the first place. So yeah. I think I'm gonna name her something with R, um, like Rose in it. Um, I had one from Black like, Horse Over 200, then I forgot. I'm still thinking on it. So I'm just gonna set her down in my sink. And clean her. That was kind of just my test round just to get her clean, but I'm actually going to do an actual kind of cleaning tutorial. So yeah, we're going to do it with this pretty, pretty girl. This is Princess. So I'm going to basically show everyone how to do it. So you get our soap and we just pump a little bit onto our toothbrush. This is not a toothbrush that is in work of actual teeth. So yeah, just so you guys know. And if your legs are wobbly, use cold water and not warm. So we're going to just start around in circles on her neck. So yeah. So I'm just gonna set her down so I can get some more soap. And I'm gonna keep on doing that all the way down her body and down her legs. So she is a credit, so she needs to be washed a little bit more often. But because I'm going back to school really soon, um, we won't be able to wash the horses as much and pay for them as much because I'm going to be away at school all day. And I'll only be coming back for, um, or I'm only going to be here for breakfast and lunch, except for on the weekends. So it's going to be a bit hard because I won't be able to really spend as much time with my horses because I'm going to be away learning and doing homework and stuff. So, yeah. It won't be as easy to do and post as much videos, so please take that into consideration, guys, because I'm going to be doing all sorts of school things, and I'm not sure if my family will want me posting in those considerations because I need to study for tasks and things, but yeah. So now we're going to rinse her off. If you have any, like, marks, you can work on those especially. Um... So I'm gonna make sure there's all the bits off. Now I rinsed her off, I'm actually gonna grab a Q-tip from my Q-tip bin, and I'm gonna put a little bit of soap on it, and I'm gonna use this for detailing in and around her eye and on her face. Um, This is just for extra detailing if you really gotta clean that face. Once again, mine just came from the store, don't know what's been on her. Um, I uh, just want to clean her up nice. This is also like a pamper session for her. She is one of my nicer horses, so yeah. Oh, guys, guess what? Also, we might be doing a show video soon, and some of my girls might com be competing at the new barn. So yeah, that might be really fun to film. Okay, so now we did all the detailing in and around her face. We're going to that. And now I'm just going to grab my little drying towel and dry her on off. And I'm going to dry her off too. Oh, you know what her name is? Ruby. That's what it was. I keep on forgetting it, but that's her name. This is my new one, Ruby. She's super pretty. 
I was going to get Minnie, like if you watch like Horse Over 200, but um, she was she was um, eight dollars, and I didn't have enough money with tax for Minnie, so yeah. So thanks for watching today's video. Uh, thanks, um, and thanks for welcoming me welcoming her to the barn. I hope you guys let, um, like and subscribe and remember to turn that notification bell on and remember to give it a big thumbs up. Okay, bye everybody.